Welcome to my annual spring lamb barbecue. Today I'm going to spit roast an entire lamb. This lamb happens to be about three months old and weighs about 20 pounds. And we have a party of about 20 people. Roughly, you can guess on about one pound of lamb per person. So 20 pounds, 20 people. The first thing I'm going to do is to insert the spit. This is the spit. And this part will fit into the shoulders. The shoulders are well, well held here. Uh, this rotisserie was made in Athens, Greece uh, through my friend Vasilis Kritsis from Athens. It's a full-size grill. It is a portable in the sense that the legs can be removed and everything folds into the firebox. It is powered by this motor which has a screw gear, worm gear, which then turns the spit. Inside the firebox, I've covered it with sand and ashes from previous uh, barbecues, as well as with an iron grate to give some ventilation to the burning coals. And for tonight's Barbecue. I also fitted it with a light because I'll be cutting the meat late at night. It's also fitted with a little tray for holding salt, pepper, and other condiments. It's on casters. There's four of them. And it makes rolling the unit about very easy. Of course, the motor is electric. So it needs power. And here it's hooked into one a power supply. 110 volt power supply. I'm going to secure the lamp with these devices that I've designed that keep the carcass from flopping around as, as it cooks and the bones loosen up. Like this will keep the lamp from flopping around. And I will have to insert them from underneath the lamp. Here's one of the devices. It goes inside. And then comes out the other side. Now use simple wing nuts to fasten them. Next, I'm going to secure the rear part of the lamp with this uh, device, which will slip in from the back and secure the rear part. And here's a close-up. It's, it's homemade. Parts from Home Depot and Lowe's hardware stores. the four legs. Good string. This also helps balance uh, the carcass on the spit. So it's and the rear legs have this handy little tendon back here which is a real nice place to anchor the string. If you're thinking about things, doing this for yourself, the best time to do it is in the early spring when the lambs are still quite young and small. Uh, as I said, anything uh, under uh, 20 pounds or so is a young lamb. 
very tender. Cooks in about three, three and a half hours. For, for the next step, the next step is to flavor the internal part of the lamb. And for that purpose, I'm using cut lemons, and I'm going to rub the inside of the, the lamb with the cut lemons, and also rub the outside. And then I will leave these lemons inside the carcass, together with fresh rosemary. Ah, just smell this, it's just, ah, wonderful. So let's rub the lamb. Ah, and we'll give it a lemon bath, just wonderful. Here's some more lemons. Rub the inside and outside, all around. Wonderful fresh rosemary. Some salt. This is, I use kosher salt. Wonderful stuff for meat. Rub it all the way, all around the inside. There is a methodology to making a fire for lamb roast. Because the lamb is thickest on both ends and thinnest in the middle, the thing to do is to make two mounds of charcoal, one on one side and the other one on the other side, to provide most heat on the ends. And of course, there'll be plenty of heat in the middle as well. The fire is ready for lighting now. The charcoal is now gray, indicating that the fire is ready, and the lamb is on the spit and is turning. The device that you see on the end of the spit is a counterbalance. Well, since the lamb is not perfectly symmetric, it would bounce around as it makes a full turn of the spit. The counterbalance is simply a static weight counterbalance, much like the weights that uh, are placed on automobile tires to keep them from vibrating during motion. The coals are arranged in two mounds on opposite sides of the uh, opposite ends of the uh, grill and that's to prevent the middle of the lamb, which is the thinnest part of the lamb, to burn while also cooking the, the front and rear parts of the lamb, which are the thickest parts of, parts of the animal, um, more or less at the same rate. The lamb is, is now cooking. The fire is very hot. And it will take about three and a half hours for a 20 pound lamb. And one of the things I'll be doing during the cooking process is to baste it with a basting sauce made out of olive oil and lemon juice. That's all. And occasionally I'll put a little bit of uh, kosher salt and a little bit of pepper. That's all that goes into the basting process. Well, I'm about halfway through the lamb roasting process. As you can see, the lamb is turning brown and it's dripping fat from several places. And the other thing to note is that the, the joints are beginning to crack. Well, the lamb is just about done now. It's a beautiful golden color. The joints have cracked, as you can see, and the skin is uh, cracking and peeling. Look at that beautiful golden color. The last 30 minutes, I lower the lamb as close to the fire as possible, and that's to crispen the skin, and you'll end up with a crispy lamb skin. Delicious!